we all saw that finish yesterday between Ryan Blaney, Eric Jones, uh, John Hunter Nemechek, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. We saw that photo finish. We saw the crashing at the end. We saw all the chaos. But uh, yeah, we're here to talk about it. I swear I've made like five of these videos already this season, all of them being post-corona. We did what? Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano again. Oh man, I think I'm missing one in there. But uh, yeah, wow. Um, we're making another one of these where do I stand videos. So uh, we're going to talk about this, talk about what I think about the situation, give you my thoughts on that. And uh, we're going to look at the situation, look at the whole thing. So let's look at the video first. So coming off turn four. Uh, yeah, Blaney's in the lead. Jones gets a freaking huge push from John Hunter Nemechek. And uh, Blaney goes to block. Jones goes low. Blaney blocks again. Blaney, Jones, they're swerving trying to block. And right here, uh, you see Blaney goes up the track, hits Jones. Jones gets into Nemechek, and they crash. Um, so you look at this other angle right here later in the video, um, you see Blaney's blocking, he's blocking, and I think that he's just trying to break the side draft. You can see Jones is side drafting, and Blaney's just trying to bump him out of the way, you know, push him up the track a bit uh, to try to break that side draft, to break the momentum that Jones is getting to win the race, and I don't think he realized that John Hunter Nemechek was to the outside of Eric Jones, and ends up wrecking Jones. Obviously, if John Hunter Nemechek is not there, we have a much di different finish. Eric Jones might win. Blaney might still win. We don't know. But I genuinely think Blaney did not know the 38 car was up there and was just trying to bump Jones up the track to try to break that momentum, to try to break that side draft, to try to... He was just trying to break that momentum that Jones had, was trying to do something, push him up the track, and it ended up wrecking Jones. If John Hunter Nemechek's not up there, Jones doesn't wreck. He might go into the wall or something, but I don't think he wrecks. I think Blaney was doing that, just trying to defend his position, trying to keep Jones from passing him on the outside, and obviously it wrecked him. So it was, was it dirty? I'm not going to call it dirty. He did not know. He, I don't think Blaney's the type of driver who would intentionally wreck someone to win. Uh, I think he, I genuinely think that he was just pushing him up the racetrack, trying to get him up the racetrack to slow down his momentum. And I, I, I really don't think there was ill intent in there. I don't think he was just wrecking Jones for the heck of it. I think he was just pushing him up the track. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, Jones, I think he has every right to be upset with Blaney because of that. Um, I'm sure they've talked about it already. I'm sure Blaney's called Jones and said, hey, I didn't know the 38 was to your outside if that's the case. Or said, hey, I didn't mean to wreck you. I was just trying to push you up the track or something like that. I don't think Blaney's the type of driver who would just straight up wreck someone. Um, push up the track, that's a different story. Because when you push someone up the track, you're not trying to wreck them. You're not trying to ruin their day. It didn't even ruin Eric Jones' day. He still finished fifth. But obviously for Jones, a win would have meant much more. But still a good day for Jones. But I, I really just don't think it was that dirty people are calling it a dirty move i think that's just racing uh you see guys bump each other out of the way all the time um this this instance just the 38 being there just made it so much more complicated blaney didn't know that caused that wreck i genuinely think if the 38 isn't there i think the 20 ends up finishing second or winning the race um but yeah i don't think it was dirty I don't think it was intentional. I think it was just Blaney trying to break that side draft, trying his best to kill the momentum that Jones had. Jones had a huge steam of momentum, and Blaney was just trying to just trying to ruin that, trying to push him up the track, trying to do something, and he ends up wrecking Eric Jones. So that's where I stand on that. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, not a lot of details. No past on this one. No deep past issues between these two uh just a just a really chaotic finish that ends up resulting in a crash as i said jones it's not like it ruined his day it's not like he finished 30th after that he still got a top five finish so a good day for him still i'm sure he would have rather had the win don't get me wrong but uh i'm, I'm hoping they talk about it get things over with but yeah uh ugly ugly ends up being ugly but you know I, I said it already how I feel about this, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, as for later this week, I got an idea. Just going to talk about Ryan Blaney a little bit more, his super speedway success, and how we really should have seen this coming, the the wins, the success that we've had. 
Um, but yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit more this week. Uh, we'll get the Pocono previews and uh, whatever else happens. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because that would be 10 out of 10 and to share.